Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today you are joining me as we head up to the top of this tower. This is St Oswald's Parish Church in Oswestry and my goodness me, I didn't know where to start with this video to show you some of the interesting things of the bells and that sort of stuff or to show you the view. So I thought let's dive straight in with the view from the top and then work our way down the building I suppose. So as you can see we had a lot of stairs to go up to get to the top but what a view absolutely fantastic and just seeing all over town and off to the hills in the distance like to Nescliff, the Browright Pass or out towards Ellesmere and up the hills into Wales and up the race course just fantastic but as we glance downwards you can see we are pretty high up here now some of you may have seen my other videos of uh, the view from where I live in town which is up on about four and a half stories high I would say so you get a good view from there but this makes it look like I'm still living on a boat at canal level this is just a fantastic view absolutely fantastic so I would say definitely just going up the church tower alone and seeing some of the curiosities and all the really old stuff and gravestones from the 1600s and that sort of stuff, that's the sort of thing that I love to begin with and that was fascinating. But getting up to the very top here and being able to have a proper nose around what's going on in the surroundings of Oswestry was absolutely brilliant. So definitely one of my favourite things of the year that I've done so far. Um, I suppose, really, one of the things that I would say about this is that it's, again, a, a view into how ingenious people were in the past, that they could build stuff like this so high and so tall, and, again, they didn't have computers or any sort of heavy machinery like we do today to build these structures, and yet here they are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years later still standing quite literally rock-solidly. Um, this is, for anyone who watches my videos, a view out to the hills out past. When I always talk about going up into the first fields of Oswestry and up the race course, that's just at the back of these houses and the hill in the background. This is the clock mechanism, as many of you may have guessed, and these are the gears at the back of the clock faces. Let's have a listen. <laughs> So yes, they are pretty loud when you're up there. Now here we are seeing one of the old archways that the original spire would have stood on when the church had a spire rather than a flat top. It's suggested that during the English Civil War the spire was removed so that the church could have its big flat topped tower so that it could be used as a military outpost. Here you're seeing some of the commemorative plaques for various peals of the bells that have been rung over the years. And the first picture there was of 1907 and what a peal is basically is a an incredible feat of endurance lasting hours and also good memory skills where the bell ringers go through literally thousands and thousands of different combinations of the bells that can be rung. I thought we'd end with a quick look at the actual top of the church and just some of the details as it's not something that you get to see up close like this every day. And really, I suppose I'll wrap things up and say thank you so much for tuning in. Please check out my other videos for loads more stuff like this and loads more local stuff from Oswestry and Shropshire and over the border into Wales. Hundreds of videos of life on the local canals around the Langoflin and all that sort of stuff and all sorts of other curious things. Feel free to add me on Facebook or Twitter and all those places as well for loads of photos of this sort of thing and the great outdoors in this general area too. Until the next time, have a fantastic day, keep it bell-worthy, keep it interesting and of course, farewell.